Aloha, back to episode 14 of the West Palmer Shopping Road to Gold Rush series, the start of season 2 here. Now starting off season 2, I'm going to show you guys the transfer list which I've put it on off camera. The likes of Karen Gibbs, Alex Palmer, Sam Field is going to leave us hopefully because I'm not going to use them. And players, young players like Kyle Edwards, Daryl O'Shea and our youth academy players hopefully can be longer to gain more game time as we get the offer from Burton of Fabian for carrying Gibbs and we did sell him for 3.6 million pounds thank you for your service here Karen Gibbs to start the game in season 2 we are going to play against this in the preseason tournament as we lose 1-0 depressingly then we are going to face against Royal Batiste in the same competition this time away from home and we get the bonbon draw with Dominic Calvert Lewin scores our first goal of the season. We got an offer for Alex Palmer, we accept it, but unfortunately it didn't go through and of course I'm not going to sell my future captain Sam Johnstone as we get a game here against Wolfsburg. And which we get a win through Hidero Tamasaki scores in the 76th minute. Let's go! Nothing now, it's time for us to sign some players and Bruno Andre Oliveira here is the one I'm going to sign here from the free agents as we have not much centre backs in the team and the other two free agents are not as great as him so let's see if we can offer him a contract which he wants and hopefully get him to the team which we have done just that welcome to the team Bruno Andre Oliveira and now we are going to simulate the game against Oxford in the semis which we win one new full Jonathan Knuckle puts us in the finals in the 29th minute and we are going to face Torino. Let's hope we can get a victory here and win our first trophy in this West Brom Shelby career mode series despite it just a precision tournament. This looks promising out wide and he's in and now he must score and a goal to open the scoring a very bright start I've had a chance. How can he take them on and beat them? He's in with a chance. Has a go. And a goal. The quick one too. And they've turned this game on its head. Good physical play. Well, he's given us away. A real opening now. Wonderful chance. His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And because he's on his own, he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Well, you've got Zadza. It looks promising. Goalkeeper should take charge. But able to hold on to it. Covert Lewin. Good defending to prevent the chance. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Kicks. This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. Taking the brunt of this. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. And the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through. With Mate. And space to cross it. Went in strongly to win the ball. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? Oh, big opportunity! A goal! We're really being spoiled! This is attacking football at its finest! Mete. Just couldn't get it through. Opportunity! And there it is! A goal! But will it be purely a consolation at this... And there goes the final whistle. Winning any pre-season tournament boosts morale league. 
Get in there last, we've absolutely smashed Torino here, 4 goals for Dominic Calvert-Lewin and 4 assists for Hideru Tamasaki. What a way to win our first trophy of the series, as Jake Livermore is going to get the honour to lift the trophy for us. Hopefully we can get more trophies this season and hopefully Jake Livermore or Sam Johnstone can lift more trophies for us as we are the precision tournament champions. Yeah, really deserve the win today and they'll be looking forward to what's coming. Certainly have applied themselves in this particular tournament and the celebrations now in full swing. And plenty of photographers here so the players can share their victory with the world. Well, four to five weeks of hard work culminating in trophy. Can't be bad, can it, Derek? After the precision tournament, we received an interesting offer from Tottenham Hotspur for, for Fricario to Mori, which, to be honest, I am willing to let him go for a big amount of money, but unfortunately, Mourinho hasn't have so much money to spend, and he's going to stay with us. Anyway, we are not going to mess around here, and we are going to start our Premier League journey here against Everton in the Peterson Park. It's the old team for Dominic Carvalho. See if he can actually perform well. And yeah, let's get into the game and start off our Premier League journey in Season 2. Atmosphere here today, all that hard slog in pre-season, all aimed for this game. First game of the season, all that preparation is for this, it's for this 90 minutes. Focus on it, get the three points, move on to the next one. Looking forward to it. A real opening now. Gives it a go. In it goes, an early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as we look at this again, the kick. A really effective shielding under pressure. This looks promising. Well, they keep that. And the last touch off the defender. So a corner coming up. And firing it into the area. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. And now the delivery. Can they square the game? Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. Penalty given and yellow card handed out. He cannot believe he's missed it from the spot. Oh dear, oh dear. No, I can't believe it either. I've missed a few myself, but that one's just wide, but it's still a miss. Job, perform for your team. And breaking at pace with Menace. Now potential danger, and he's through. And looking towards the back post. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, we can see it again here. The player can stand still and nod the ball into the net like that. I'll be asking serious questions about my centre-backs. Shocking, really. Well, a sow out on the flank. Can he finish this? Able to close down the shot. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss. Will they profit from this situation? It might be on for them. What can he do from here? Well, not the pass he had in mind. Always couldn't keep it. Now, what can they do from here? Walcott. And Gomes. Now, this could really lift spirits. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They... The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. A running room in the wide position. A glorious chance. In it goes! Delighted 
to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Big chance. And at the second time of asking, it's a goal. The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the head. Can they get in behind them? Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. And the keeper nowhere to be found, not that he's complaining. Well, if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Well, beaten easily here. Could be. And it's in! The back and front. Stunning scenes here. Well, you could be critical of the defending, but let's focus on the great play. Capped off with a superb, calm, calculated finish. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, the coach can feel this game slipping away, I'm sure. Might need a plan B. Dian Ghana. And now, passing it through. It looks promising. He must finish. And a fine stop. Over it comes, making sure nothing untoward happened. And he might be through here. And thumped away. And a close offside decided that two additional minutes are in order. Moving forward effectively. Delivering it into the box. And well, the danger is still there. And there goes the final whistle. Plenty of positives for West Brom and their fans around the world. Lee, what did you make of their performance today? Yeah, good result to start the campaign. Always important to get off to a quick start. A few of them seemed a bit leggy towards the end, but overall it was a good performance and that will give them real confidence going into the next game. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp. Constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. Okay, okay, we actually scored four against Everton, but we considered three. Typical West Brom. And Sam Johnston didn't perform well, but actually Pickford is worse than him, so yeah. And also, Tamasaki scores one, assist one, Dominic scored two. A pretty complete performance from our attackers, but our defenders it really needs to improve. But again, from last season, we are actually top of the Premier League after the game because we are the only games played and everything is 20th. Wow, well, nice. Dominic Cavalo and Marlon is a top scorer and Pereira is a top assist currently. And no one can a clean sheet. Fair. And yeah, what is this stick? And the best part about this is Dominic Cavaluan has scored 6 goals in 2 games and 7 goals in total counting other games in the preseason tournament as well and Hidero have 5 assists in like 2 games as well. What a complete performance from these two guys as we are going to sign our CDM here. We, are, we don't have money to sign Kimmich as he's too good so we are going to sign a player which has potential not as good as Kimmich, but will be, hopefully, Sandro Talali from Brescia. I probably messed that up, but let's see if we can sign this dude here. He's a uh, West Brom OG as well, so if we can actually sign him in, that would be great. £25 million pounds is what I offered them. He said 29 pounds 4 so surely we can bring him in, but yeah, let's just counter it down a little bit. 25 million pass again plus those seven claws and yeah it's just again and again and we are going to down it to 26.5 million pounds and they said 29.4 again wait just, just let it down a bit man 27.0 yeah 27 million pounds you got to accept this 28.3 fine i'm going to accept this welcome to the teammate 
Sancho Talali. So guys, we're gonna get into the race negotiations with Sancho Talali, crucial scoreboard, 5 year contract limit, no release cost, 56,000 pounds a week wages, we're going to accept that, and welcome to the team, Sancho Talali. After signing a CDM, they signed a player that I want, by the name of Takafusa Kubo. The Japanese wonder kid here, possibly not the best Japanese wonder kid here after Tamasaki joins the career mode, but Tamasaki was named Kubo 2.0 at the start of the series. Let's bring the real Kubo here, as we offer them a player plus 27 million pounds, they don't accept it. Then we, they offer us back and on and we negotiate to 27.5 million pounds plus 10% selling clause. As we go into the wages negotiations with Kubo, rotation squad will 5 year contract length 70,000 pounds of wages and we are going to accept it. Welcome to the team, the Japanese wonder kid himself, Takefusa Kubo. With two new players joining us, one as a start player and one as a super sub, let's see if we can get something against Manchester City, who better us 8 nil last time out. Hopefully, we can see less than 8 goals this time. I don't really expect a victory, but if we can actually get concede like less than 5 goals, I will be happy. Let's get into the game. Let's make a damage lesser than ever. Yeah, let's get into the game. Let's look at the lineup for West Bromwich Albion. Number 1, Sam Johnston. Number 15, Joshua Fakunaman. Number 5, Ricardo Tomori. Number 16, Ben White. Number 31, Sid Kanasinech. Number 6, Sandro Talali. Number 19, Hidero Tamasaki. Number 11, Grady Diagana. Number 12, Mateusz Pelera. Number 9, Dominic Calvert Lewin. And number 7, Callum Robinson. New game. What should we be looking for from him today, Lee? Well, I can tell you, Derek, you want a nice, easy, calm start to your debut at any club. Trouble is, in that midfield area of the pitch, it's chaos. Trust me, I wandered in there once. It was a big mistake. A million miles an hour. It'll be full on from the first whistle. Good luck to him. Pressing high to win the ball. Aguero, here's Saul, can he do it to take the lead? And a goal! They start as they mean to continue, they make the opening statement. The ball with purpose. The timing was perfect, it had to be. Grady Diangana. Let's go to Alan McAnally because there's been a goal in the Spurs match. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. Twin must be! Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. Dian Ghana. It looks promising. No nonsense clearance. Over it comes. Well, strongly fisted away. Wagnerman. And the cross is very much on. Keeper getting the touch. Well, threat over for now. Man City is struggling in terms of possession, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. He's in behind. And still looking for space. Now just the tackle that was needed. An awful lot of green space to run into. Danger averted. Kick forthcoming. Calvert Lewin. Oh, lovely, incisive pass. And he's in. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited.
Well, here it is again. It's a lovely ball behind, perfectly timed, and then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he's certainly... De Bruyne. Shielding the ball superbly. Saul. And here's Cancelo. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Let's see if something comes of this. Oh, surely. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Raheem Sterling. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Promising looking attack. It's there for him. And in. Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. And then the brute force and guile in equal amounts sets up the chance to score. And he doesn't disappoint, does he? Them on for the equaliser. Aguero. Saul. Can he finish this? And there... And they just need to keep the concentration. Manchester City. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Might really be able to trouble them here. Real chance. Now this could really lift spirits. And a goal! They've cut into the lead. It's not settled yet. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And to be honest with you, he's not going to get an easier goal than that. A simple tap-in. Well, how about... ...they'll get another chance. You know what guys, I really don't expect anything in the start of this game, but our team really performs well, a score, a 4 foot draw I will take it, but Sam Johnstone can do better, mean safe one shot at least, but hey, I'm happy with our attacks, doing very well, Kubo and 
Talali have a great debut, to be honest. And yeah, three goals, three assists for Dominic Calvert Lewin is impressive. And I mean, what a season he has! The start of the season, like, scores six goals and three assists in three games, and he dare to, like, score like six assists and few goals as well. This is going to be impressive season for us. And we are going to start a replay journey in the next episode. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode for another very impressive journey for us in this West Palm series. Peace.